So uh, I made Pong in the Godot engine. So the plan was to make this classic arcade game. I failed at doing so, but here's what I learned along the way. One, problems will always occur. Two, gameplay is not what it seems like. And three, Godot engine is crazy fun. We're going to deep dive into each of these lessons in today's video. Let's first check out my version of Pong. The video game industry defines a software bug as an error or a flaw in a computer program that causes it to produce an incorrect or unexpected result or to behave in unintended ways. Bugs get into video games due to mistakes or oversights made by the game designer or programmer. A fun fact about this classic arcade game, Alan Alcorn was hired initially to develop a driving video game, but since he had no prior experience experience developing games, Atari's co-founder had Alan work on some practice code first to improve his skills. That practice project, ladies and gentlemen, became the Pong game we know today. If we're looking at examples from other game devs, the question that was asked, what secret things did you add to your game to make the game easier to play that your players never noticed? In our first example, Steve from Infinity Ward. In Modern Warfare, when you escape the prison is Farrah, there's a pistol in the toilet of the bathroom you crawl to. Looking at our second example from Geo at Riot Games, in some of League of Legends game modes, I made teams leave spawn faster based on how many more towers they have over the enemy team. It made everything feel faster paced. It made games where a team is getting absolutely stomped in quicker so losing felt less painful. In conclusion, gameplay, not what seems like. And then our last lesson, the final lesson, try other engines, try other game engines, try other programs. You know, maybe you come from just using Photoshop, try Blender, you know, try other programs. You never know when you'll find a gem program out there and that it changes your whole entire workflow, blows your mind. What if your job one day says that, hey, we're not using Unity anymore, we're going to Unreal and everyone needs to move the game that we've been creating the last three years over to Unreal. You're gonna tell your boss, no, your boss pays your bills so that's something that you have to think about and just get yourself used to right now testing different type of software so you get used to it and that's all i got for you nerds i'll see you gamers in the next video peace out